Hello everyone and welcome back to Juno New Origins where I'm continuing in career mode in version 1.0.2.0 and in the previous video we had some trouble with a rocket spinning out as happens and so we're going to modify this rocket to try and fulfill our contracts and what we have picked up is mainly we're gonna hold off on Norbit for a sec here and we're going to go with the crashing at least 500 kilometers away and getting to 2 kilometers per second while also reaching 80 kilometers above sea level. So those are our goals. Uh, I guess we have to greet these people. All right. Well, to that end, I'm going to modify this. I think part of the problem is we were reaching too high a speed early. I mean, I'm going to go with that theory and we'll modify it based on that. Uh, no, that would be the orbital contract tutorial, probably. And so I'll reduce the thrust weight ratio that we get out of this by increasing the delta V that we get out of this, uh, hopefully. And these back on. So now we get 1.77 off the pad, and that will be a little bit better, hopefully. And that'll also mean that the fins are further away. I, I, I want to try and align it with the world here. So let me move those like that. Yeah, uh, the, these fins will be further away from the center of mass. And hopefully, I, I don't know if it'll help stabilize or not. Depends on how these tanks actually drain, but let's not talk about that. Uh, so we'll try it one more time, and maybe it's a bad idea, maybe it's not. Um, our stages are roughly equivalent, and that's the rule basically. If you're getting the same specific impulse out of two stages, the delta V you get out of the two stages should be basically the same. Uh, that would be optimal. So, otherwise, of course, if the specific impulse, the ISP, is higher for one, you get more delta V out of that one. But this is pretty much... This is pretty good. Uh, I don't have any qualms with this rocket. Uh, but it just depends on whether it's going to stay stable or not. And we will try that. I don't know, the fins are a little bit big. I'll have to say that. Maybe we should have a larger command core with a better gyro too. Maybe it's getting a little bit heavy for this one. I'm not clear on exactly how much these gyros can take. Doesn't cost much more. Doesn't seem to hurt our delta V just like that. Oh, it does. It does. It cut it by about 80 meters per second. Well, the nose cone is pretty bad too. Maybe we should go with a longer core, smaller at the top, and have less nose cone. That's better for Delta V. Well, we've got a lot of gyro now, so we'll see if that helps anything or not. Okay. But aerodynamically, it probably doesn't. <laughs> um. Hmm. Yeah, well, we'll try it. We'll try it. We've got money. And... Ignition. Jeez, that build-up is longer and longer every time. I'm just gonna try and keep it on prograde now, really. Not gonna try and antagonize the rocket. Well, that seems better. Okay, staging. Uh, okay, I'm gonna undo that. Because <laughs> it's fighting me. Uh, oh, uh, uh, uh. Okay. Maybe I should spin stabilize. <laughs> no, that's a bad idea. Come on, 2000. Okay, we got the 2,000 meters per second. But we're coming down fast. Right now, we're heading right there. We could probably glide a bit. And I'm not going to touch it this time, because last time when I touched it, it ended up going down. But it might just do that anyway. We want it to glide a bit. And the struggle right now is whether it's going to survive until it crashes. Because, yeah, it is going to cover the ground. It's just a matter of survival. Come on, gyros. Keep that nose up. 
please. It doesn't look like the fins are actuating at all, by the way. I don't know what allows the craft to use those things. No, no, please. Yes, keep it up, keep it up. Okay. The effects are dying down. Alright, I think we made it through this time. And... Smack. Okay. So, we fulfilled all that. We are swimming in money right now. Okay, all that's left is orbit. Let's just... Oh, I guess we might as well do this one. Well, 3 kilometers per second is higher than orbit, isn't it? Or, for a low orbit, you will need to go faster than 3 kilometers per second, it says. So, I guess I underestimated orbit. Let's uh, pick that up, then. Okay. So, yeah. I'll try it with SRBs first. And we'll have a three-stage rocket. So we'll have two upgraded engines on this stage, and then just one on the upper stage, and then we'll have a third stage. It doesn't require any sort of payload to orbit. Well, we'll max that out. We'll have five-way symmetry. And, well, that's not a whole lot on that stage still. Uh, we need more. I think we can do with a bigger nose cone, it'll be fine. Let's just make this wider. Well, it's nice that you can widen it like that, but we need to shorten this too. Okay, I'm gonna go for seven engines at the bottom, it looks like. But maybe that's too much thrust to weight ratio. Um, six. Oops. Altogether, that gives us 4.5 kilometers per second. I think that's enough. Now we'll have some fins uh, on the second stage because they're, it's liable to need them, but I'm not going with really big fins since we're not going to try and boost glide with it. And we'll try that much. Okay, 34,000 is the cost right now. The last stage has a lot of extra delta V and a low starting thrust weight ratio, but it should be okay for the last stage. Let's actually save this. I guess beta. All right. I don't think there's any requirement this is not going to meet. We're probably still under the pad limits, so let's go. Yep. A two-ton rocket, though. Uh, launch crafts by exceeding 15, so we've launched 15 times. Okay, throttle is up, nav ball, and let's try to make orbit, folks. Launch. Air density is pretty low around here, huh? Five, uh, no, sorry, six engines at the bottom. We'll go straight east. There's no need to hit water or anything. Or close to straight east. I trust that that's how the planet rotates. Okay, separation and ignition. It'd have been nice to get an apoapsis of 80 kilometers right away and then coast and then light the last stage, but we will just go ahead. I mean, it's a pretty long stage anyway, so I guess we need a time. It's not a normal SRB stage here. Oh, feeling pretty good about the general dynamics of this right now, but... 
Not sure if we'll make orbit or not. It's at three kilometers per second. I don't know exactly how much above that we need. We'll get three kilometers per second, I think. And we'll probably finish up right at Apoapsis, so that's ideal. Yep. Right at Apoapsis. Okay, well, we got the three kilometers per second, according to that. Um, not according to the surface velocity there, but that's separate. Uh, I don't see a periapsis yet. Okay, so how far off are we? Pretty far off, actually. We need a lot more than three kilometers per second. So this world is bigger than Kerbin by a fair amount. All right, I don't think I need to belabor this, but I guess we'll see where it burns up or whatever. So we need a little bit more juice. Previously, I just used overwhelming power in order to get to orbit, so I didn't really care about the orbital velocity too much when I was doing it in sandbox. Okay, re-entry heating. But it's sort of in a lifting posture. And it goes away. Alright. Okay, let's end flight, save flight, so that we get that one contract done. Okay, so I need to add a bit more juice to it. Maybe we'll go for nine engines. Uh, yeah, well let's uh, do three engines here. I think that's still okay. And then we'll do nine engines at the bottom. I still don't know how to duplicate parts just by clicking on them and holding some key, but uh, we will do it the hard way. Oh, six-way uh, radial symmetry is the max there. Okay. Well, right now that's not as much as I wanted. Maybe we'll do eight and have this one be multiplied. 4.8 kilometers per second. I don't know. That might still be not enough. We can probably make this stage a little bit more. Uh, lift off thrust weight ratio is still 1.7. Okay, let's try that out. Alright. Nap all. All is up. And launch. Once again, for orbit. Eight engines. Okay. Trailing off. Probably past max Q at this point. That's maximum dynamic pressure. It doesn't have a listing for dynamic pressure, I think. Oh, well, this time this stage will get us uh, 80 kilometer apoapsis. Okay, right down the line here. I'm gonna wait a little bit. I think we can ignite. It's got nearly two minute burn time. We can probably just go straight. This stage delta V is reading less than I was expecting. I don't know why it's so low. That doesn't see... Oh, now it's reading something completely different. Huh. What was it reading before then? It's like it heard me and corrected itself or something. Okay. Again, basically on the money as far as ending at Apoapsis. Uh, I'm not seeing a periapsis. Oh, there's a periapsis. There's a periapsis. And we got it. We're overshooting a little bit, but not too much, hopefully. 
Okay, it's it's overshooting a bit more, but that's okay. That's okay. The important thing is we made orbit. Okay, we have our first satellite, folks. There it is. All right. So, in flight, four hundred thousand. Flight time five minutes. Okay, save flight, save and exit. So, all right, now what do they do? Satellite mission. So now we'll have a CubeSat. Well, forgive me, but I'm probably not going to stick to solid rocket motors. I think I've done enough with those. We, uh, yeah, the whole thing about putting nozzles on a solid rocket motor tank in order to, uh, <laughs> in order to get the thrust, uh, you know, multiple nozzles is possible, but not generally how it's done and this is a true orbit contract very specific orbit it wants i think that's actually a lot tougher than this one we need rcs thrusters if we it depends on how much wiggle room they have on that Let's see about our tech tree, though. We have 95 tech points, and I am interested in solid, uh, not, uh, in RCS thrusters. So we use interstage. That's specific. Heat shields. We probably want heat shields soon. Don't know why Soyuz, but RCS nozzle. Multi-direction out, directional RCS. And mod propellant engine type. Spirit engine, even. Well, we've already got a contract for precise orbits, so I think we should get that. Orbital maneuvers. But we don't have enough for getting hot. So, coming back will have to be another time. So, we'll do the satellite mission first. And then, uh, I'll pick this up right now, because we just got the technology for it. But we probably won't do that yet. And then there's light speed, which is four kilometers per second. Um, well, I mean, that'll practically get us... We, we should be going to the moon at that point. But, I mean, it's not quite that high, but we might as well if we're going to go that fast. Uh... I don't know, when it says can no longer be accepted after 30 days, I don't even know how long time is passing right now. There's no clock or anything. So, I'll just leave that be for now. Let's focus on what we need to focus on. So let's get our first liquid-fueled rocket, finally. Now, when we took the Goblin Solid Rocket Motor and then changed it, you know, we could change it here to mob propellant or liquid. I don't even know which engine that is, to be honest. Pressure fed. We're stuck with pressure fed. So it's not super great, but it's still better. And we probably don't want it to be that huge. I'll even say that the stage time should be the same. So 1.9 minutes was what we had with the last one. With the goblin. Now, how about some RCS thrusters though? I only need two, but I need tanks. Let's say I have a tank like this. Oh, this is... How do I make a nice roundy tank? I don't know about these corners, so uh, that's not... I imagine I could do something with it, but maybe it's not super necessary. I just wanted to turn it into a sphere, really. But corners are not what spheres are about. I don't know if the mop propellant thrusters are supposed to be connected directly to it. Let's turn off all select fuel type and put mop propellant in. And we probably don't need too much. Let's try that. So that's for the precision amount. 
It's weird that we can get away with one nozzle for the liquid engines, but for the solid rocket motors, we need a whole bunch of them, but here we are. I think it's the gnome that we're using. Pressure fed Carolox. This one needs to be bigger. Wow, the price is skyrocketing here. We're at 194,000. That's those are expensive liquid motors. So over here it says that it's 30k, right? 30,000. Now right now we've got this one sized to 100%, but it's 53,000. Shouldn't 100% mean that it is it 53,000 that it would be the 30,000 wouldn't that it be priced to that? Well, we're overperforming a little bit. Maybe we should just reduce the number of stages if it's going to be like this. The cheapest it gets at 25% it's 24,000. So, there's no good reason to scale down this engine. It's better to scale it up. Mod propellant is cheaper. But it doesn't have very good ISP. Now there's a 10 kilogram engine. If it was the solid, it's actually heavier as a solid rocket motor. Then, even though this is huge looking, I, I don't understand the numbers very well. So you tell me 70% size, it's 15.2 kilograms, but at 150% size, it's 15.7 kilograms. The cost is going up tremendously. This is 280. This is 1,256. That's going up quite a lot. But the mass isn't? I'm confused about that. I think we'll take this. Uh, we, uh, Of course, we've got the extra mop propellant here. We don't need these mop propellant tanks now. If we're going to have a whole mop propellant system, we can just use that. And we'll make the tank bigger. You're gonna need a bigger inner stage though. That can cause extra mass to happen. Yeah, that's not great. 216k though. Maybe we should just use a whole lot of SRBs at the bottom. Uh, it's a, it, even this right now is 161. K. The engine's only 16k. Are these really expensive? <gasps> the little RCS thrusters are 50k. Well, let's not do that. The little RCS thrusters are also 20 kilograms. <laughs> They're, these little guys are heavier than this thing? I... Okay, let's just not do those then. We'll figure it out. Okay, it's cheaper now. <laughs> uh, I didn't realize the RCS thrusters were so expensive. Maybe if we scale them down, they'll be cheaper, but then... Scaling has not necessarily led to good results like that. We're, we're really reducing nozzle length to zero here, and getting 190 seconds of ISP on that stage. Our nozzle area ratio is only 1.69. It seems a little bit weird. I guess we don't need the fins anymore since this has gimbling. Can we get a price discount for having less gimbling? We do get a price discount for less chamber pressure, and also a mass discount. But we also get less ISP like that, so we should leave that be. We only have bell nozzles. Okay, well it's a lighter rocket, but it's a much more expensive rocket right now. I mean, increasing the size of this doesn't hurt too much. I think I'll increase the size and decrease the throat area to get... Well, the ISP doesn't go up that much, though. 
I think we'll just add more propellant then. It's being very thin. This one, the mass actually does scale by size. Maybe with the other one, it's because the nozzle is so big or something. I don't know. I still feel like with this ISP, maybe the little SRBs are not too bad <laughs> considering their price. But all right, well here we are at sea level 1.52, so that'll lift off. And we get close to 5 kilometers per second. So we will try to use this. I don't know about the finer details of orbit with that one contract, but we'll see if this works out. So we've got a Carolox regular pressure fed engine down there, and then there's a monopropellant pressure fed engine up top. And let's see. Cost so much to launch too. Thought we were rolling in dough. Okay, what are the issues? Missing a solid source. Part goblin solid rocket motor. Oh, uh, let's get rid of that. Let's try. Okay, I think it was just that floaty part. Okay, trying to make orbit again. Oh, we we'll launch of CubeSat. Sorry. Oh, well, but this was just. I just wanted to get. Well, okay, we need to launch a CubeSat. Um, let me, yeah. And career recover craft. Drogue shoot, no. CubeSat, CubeSat, CubeSat. So, do we have a fairing? Okay, well, I guess that can act as a fairing. All right, we have a CubeSat. We have a little bit less Delta V now, though. Okie dokie. And launch. Wow, that lights right away. That lights like an SRV ought to. <laughs> oh, come on, not too much. Okay, well, should be all right for now. Oop, 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 oop. Ah, ah! Oh no! No, don't do that. Okay, ignition. Okay, we can just go horizontal now, I think. Actually, this might be a little bit early, considering the time to apoapsis. Stage delta V is still reading the wrong stage delta V here. I think it's still reading like sea level or some other thing. Now it's reading the right one. I think we'll make it. I can throttle down. I need to remember that. <laughs> I need to remember that this is not realism overhaul. I can actually throttle down these engines. I spent the whole time... I, I guess we can't throttle down the SRVs anyway. So... What happened? What? Oh, I, I clicked out of the window and so it throttled down. Hey, I said you should keep going even if I click out of the window game. Okay, just about finishing it up here. And we'll try not to overshoot. Maybe we'll have a chance to do that specific orbit one. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Detach the CubeSat. Okay, Drew Orbit though. Okay, Periapsis is fine. It wants a bigger Apoapsis. Okay. Let me uh, see where we can go with that. Uh oh. Okay, it's happy. Hold it for five seconds. Okay. Alright, well we have to de detach the CubeSat, so... This, um, this doesn't have an activate. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> I should, uh, maybe I should have had a little inner stage for the CubeSat though. A 
Okay, CubeSat. Um, it doesn't have a detach, does it? Well, that says solar panel. That doesn't say the CubeSat. CubeSat. Okay. Activate. Okay, all right. Whew. CubeSat deployer has deployed the CubeSat. End flight. Save flight. Save and exit. We've deployed a CubeSat, folks. We have deployed a CubeSat. I think I'll wrap it up with that accomplishment. And so we've made orbit, we deployed a CubeSat, and we we don't have any contracts pending. We'll have to see. This is another CubeSat contract, but you know, I'd like to do more complicated things, game. And we'll think about that. So for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I will see you next time.